Hit him up, shut him down, I will not lose. You are now you are rocking, now with, the rocking with the best. What it do, YouTube? You are now rocking with the best. It's your boy, I'm blessed, bringing y'all the last episode of this series for this week next week i'm gonna bring y'all the other collection i got my kids in the background they doing their thing watching pokemon and uh we're gonna go ahead and go right through these cards man we'll make this real quick i don't know how much patience the kids got but uh let's jump right into it man we're gonna jump into this kiko alonzo um it's kiko alonzo man the speed already got me if you can get this probably just because of speed alone i'm gonna call this the best middle linebacker card out there right now at this moment 94 speed uh 87 awareness but if you're using them it's not an issue 95 tackle 97 block shed pursuit 99 play rec 99 and 91 strength so he is a pretty tough card so once we went through all this card 87 agility uh catching 76 not too bad uh, jumping 84, stamina 87, 83 injuries, so he get he could get hurt a lot, man. Not sure why anybody would drop his injury down. That's something you would want, you know what I mean? I, I would have actually dropped all these stats down to one and boosted up all these other stats if I had the chance to make the car. But they probably had rules and other stuff they had to go through. So we're looking at 95 tackle, 88 hit power, so he's not really hitting anybody. He's more of a finesse guy, uh, power move 87. He's more of a finesse guy, but they also made him a beast on block shedding, pursuit, and play wreck. So he's he's all he may be all over the field. If you playing against a Kiko Alonso and all of a sudden he in your face on every play, that's because this is the golden ticket, Kiko Alonso. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> go ahead and check out the stats on Kiko Alonso. We're gonna move on um, and compare him. We're, gonna, we're just gonna compare him, man, real quick. This is a real short video. We're just gonna compare him to who's the, who's the hottest car? Who, who's the hottest middle linebacker right now? Um, we we'll go to Patrick Willis. I, I don't know if he's he's it, but we, we can go with the 99 Patrick Willis, Sparkle Willis, Sparkly Willis. Let's go. 92 to 94 speed. Um, Patrick Willis got him everywhere else, man. On the general stats, which is strength, agility, acceleration, awareness, um, catching. Obviously, Patrick Willis, Patrick Willis is a 73 um, to compared to 76. Stamina is gonna be. He, he outdoes him in stamina and injury. Patrick Willis is a tough cookie. Uh, we look at that trucking, elusiveness. After get, they get the ball, it's not a big deal. Um, you look in carrying, route running, catching traffic. So Patrick Willis is pretty much the better defender according to these stats, man. And if you're looking at tackles, oh my goodness, 100 tackle for Patrick Willis. 96 hit power for Patrick Willis. So, uh... Once again, man, these two defensive cards. I'm, I'm really impressed with the two offensive cards, but the two defensive cards that I reviewed, Harrison Smith and Kiko Alonso, I'm kind of disappointed, man, because you get a golden ticket, you need to make a card that has that nobody else has that it's the best card out there. But looking at these stats, minus two block shedding for Patrick Willis, minus three for pursuit, minus one for play rec, um, you know, minus five for man coverage, zone coverage. All right, I mean... He's not covering anybody, but zone, Patrick Willis is still pretty much a better beast. A better beast? I guess. They're both beasts. I just think Patrick Willis is more of a beast uh, <laughs> compared to Kiko Alonso, man. So once again, right now, man, I'm, there's no reason to overpay for Kiko Alonso with the exception of the plus two speed, though. But no real reason to overpay for Kiko Alonso uh, when you got this Patrick Willis. I mean, that hype does look nice, though, 6'3". 6'3 in the middle is just deadly. It's like Carlos Danz be standing 6'4 in the middle. You know what I'm saying? That's just nasty. Something you don't want to come across. But, I mean, Patrick Willis is an absolute monster and pretty much stacks up pretty well against this golden ticket. So, if you guys are looking into this golden ticket, don't worry about this one. You guys should be more focused on the Cam Newton and uh, Matt Stafford. Me, I'm so focused on that Matt Stafford. If I can get a Matt Stafford, oh my goodness, my I, I would fall apart. I, I would never get off the game. I would never. I'd quit my job. I get kicked out the military. I do all that stuff over that Matt Stafford card. So if you guys are looking for these golden tickets, if you get a Kiko Alonso, you get a Harrison Smith. Sell them quick because I think their price may drop because they are so comparable to the Sparkle Dawkins and the Sparkle Patrick Willis. So Sparkle players so far has beat out both of these guys. Um, well, I didn't go over the Sparkle cards with uh, the, the first two. I could have went Sparkle Drew Brees maybe. But uh, the kid's going crazy. That's it for this video. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces, y'all. I'm out.